Well, home Craig and Stuffers, it's time for another edition of Silver with the Hundred Monkey. Um, I've been calling it, I keep calling it and calling it, and my record speaks for itself. Have I been getting it 100% right? No, because I never thought we would get down here. I would hope beyond hope that maybe we'd get down here and be able to pick it up cheap, and which you kind of sort of can, but you can't. But what I tell you? Sideways, right? So, go backward. Sideways and down. Sideways and down. That's and, and bear in mind that this is the time that silver usually goes up. In the fall and winter, silver usually, and it's not going up, it's going down. It's staying sideways, right? So what are we at? At the last I checked, it was like 1561. It's been lower than this. It was on its way back up. It's now looking down. It's, they're, they're fooling around. There's no way that they, uh, they can fulfill the contracts that are out there, these, these futures contracts that have come in. It's there's no way. They're, it's like 100 to one. They couldn't even fill one out of 100 contracts that people demanded their, their physical silver. So if you can get some physical silver, this would be the time. Could it go as low as 12? I hope it goes as low as 12. And people are like, well, at this price, they can't, the silver miners can't even sell it. At, right? Same thing with gold. At the gold price now, people aren't even able to pull it out of the ground. What do, you, what do they want to do? Make the miners go out of business? Yes! Yes, they would like the miners to go out of business. One, they cover their shorts with unlimited fiat money that they get for free that they just print. The, the bankers get the money directly. They borrow it for what? Zero, right? They get it for nothing. And then they cover their shorts. Second, when they do cover the shorts, wherever they take it down as far as they can, because there's lots of contracts out that are short, when they finally cover the shorts, the mines are out of business, <laughs> right? Okay, so now there's no supply to meet the band because the mines aren't mining because they've been, right? Cause, so this thing can go on for quite some time. People are like, oh, it's got to end like next week. It's not ending next week. Just like I said, when the, just because the fix went out, didn't make the prices go through the moon. In fact, they went south. Um, they're telling you nonsense stories about how QE is over and they're never going to do QE again and QE worked and everything's dandy and everything's fine and they've got unemployment's at 6%. Ah. <sighs> And you believe it. And they've just fled the market with trillions of paper contracts. Literally trillions of dollars of paper contracts. There's no, no, no way they could even fulfill one out of a hundred of those contracts to, to, if anybody asked for silver. So lots of people are smart and they are getting silver uh, at these prices. Physical silver. I have managed to get some delivered to my door for about 1740. You cannot get silver at spot. By the time you pay shipping and by the time you rent. And, and there were other guys that they were very close there that when they, I, that the spread has changed uh, since I've been doing this, but um, or since I started ordering and fooling around and taking, you know, just nibbling on the market. Uh, seventeen dollars, I think, was what was seventeen eleven or something like that was uh, the price. And at the time, spot was like sixteen fifty or something. I went, wow, that's great. That's really close to spot. But they had an eleven dollar and ninety cent insurance and delivery fee because they want insurance and delivery and so on and so forth. So if you're only ordering like ten ounces. Well, you know, that adds a buck 19 to your, to your press. So you're not even, right? Anyway, um, if you're ordering like, you know, a thousand ounces, then 11 bucks, who cares? And by the way, a couple of dollars either way, who cares? If you, is this the, again, the name of this game is buy low, sell high, not buy bottom, sell top. And they are giving you silver at a great price. Um, even if they took it down to five, and I don't think they're going to take it down to five, but I'm just saying, if even if they took it down to five, if you bought some at 15, you're $10 over the lowest low, I guarantee you when it's at 100, yeah, you could have got it at five, maybe, because I guarantee you, if they get it down to 12, you won't be able to get it at 12. You won't be able to buy anything for $12 or even $14 uh, by the time the premiums start kicking in. And by, right? Being able to get physical in your hands at spot is impossible. Getting physical on paper, sure, they'll, they'll sell you a piece of paper that says you own some silver, they're happy to, and they chuckle, and they take the money to the bank, and then when you ask for delivery, nope, and they've even done, and they've done this in the past, they never defaulted, they can't call, you can't call it a default because they changed the rules, what they said is, oh, we'll settle, we'll settle these contracts for FRNs, we'll settle these contracts for pieces of paper, this piece of paper for this piece of paper. Now, people aren't understanding this whole thing, how could there be deflation if they're printing the hell out of it and quantity easing and all that stuff? Everybody's moving to the down the pyramid, moving to uh, cash, so they can buy precious metals. Even if you want to buy precious metals, your your bonds or your stocks or your real estate or whatever the hell it is, your assets, you can't buy silver. No, very few people will trade across the board, and certainly nations can't trade across the board. So people are putting their money into the FRN and then they sell it 
uh, you know, they trade those FRNs, those Federal Reserve notes, those dollars, those hundred dollar bills for silver or for whatever asset they want to buy, whether it's stocks or bonds or, or gold or silver or whatever. So they got to go to uh, the dollar first. Now, other countries are doing everything they can to dismantle that thing, but that's what's happening. That's the way it is now. So, of course, the dollar looks stronger as compared to other currencies and as compared to metals, not to mention they're pushing the prices down. Um, and the whole thing about it's just conspiracy theory, well, gee, the banks are paying fines and links, links down there. Just do your own damn reading. But the bottom line is they can do this for a while. And yes, they want to put the miners out of business. There's geopolitical reasons for that also, just like bringing the price of oil down has, right? These other countries finance their budgets and their militaries and all kind of stuff that way. So they bring the prices on those commodities down and then they can't sell for as much. Um, take a look. There's just been a big deal between uh, China and Russia over gas. So it's just like over here. Look, I can get a mango over here and it's delicious and I can pick it right off the tree. I've been in San Francisco, couldn't get a decent mango during mango season, and it's just across the ocean. Um, same thing with gas. Just because the prices, whatever whatever they settle on prices between those two countries, doesn't mean you'll be able to buy that same price. In the, in other words, the, the markets are starting to to separate. You won't be able to buy that price in Minneapolis or or you know wherever you are in the United States. What they're trading over the same thing now is that people are starting to talk about well the market's going to start dictating the price. And if you want physical silver, uh, because right now we don't know what the price of anything is because the markets are all rigged, all of them, the currency markets, the metal markets, everything. So maybe India and China are trading silver. Well, actually, they're not going to be trading because China is just hoarding silver. And so India is trying to buy as much as they can. But just because uh, you can get an ounce of it in California, for example, doesn't mean they'll be able to get an ounce of it physically in India. Same thing, with, you know, like Chinese pandas. Try to get a Chinese panda for anywhere near spot. You can't do it uh, just because of the, it costs money to, to get it from China to here, to the United States. And anyway, the long story short, guys, is the markets are insane right now. The price of silver is awesome right now. If it goes down to 12 or 10, who knows how far they'll take it down or if they'll just leave it where it's at right now where it's at they can put miners out of business right now because the at 1561 i, I was listening to this thing at 17 dollars these guys that i mean you know they can barely break even at 17 bucks and that's the largest silver producer in peru um little miners and other guys that are right, that are making silver as a consequence or you know they get silver as as a byproduct that's not the main thing that they're doing even those guys, why would they be selling silver at 17 bucks? And then the guys that are actual silver miners, like, you know, up in Idaho and other places where there are silver mines, they can't make late between labor. They, they can't do it. And yeah, they'd love it if those companies went out of business. Then when they go out of business, they're bankrupt. They buy up the assets for cheap. And now the price goes back up again and they own the mines. How, why is this stuff hard? Why, why is this stuff hard? And they collude with the United States government to do it. The bankers own every freaking thing. They are giving you a gift down here. And they're going to tell you all day long, right? Oh, Greenspan came back and talks about metals now and gold and how governments need to be, right? Now that he's not chairman of the Federal Reserve and playing, you know, with his banker buddies and so forth, he went back because he, you know, he started out in the 60s as a gold bug, then did paper, and now he's back to gold a little bit. But the idea, guys, is that these prices are insane. It's a good time to get metals add to your, right? Some people that are like, oh, I put everything in at 40. Well, put some more in now under 20. Um, you shouldn't have put everything in at 40. You should have nibbled at 40. I didn't buy anything at 40. Although I was thinking, that, oh, yeah, now it's finally going to go. Nope. Me and a lot of other people got fooled. And then when it started going back down again, it should have been very clear that they were taking it down as far as they could go. Um, when it was in the mid twenties, I should have been selling. I didn't buy in the mid twenties cause I have a lot of silver that I bought cheaper than that. Um, and 25 seems still pretty high. And then went to 20 and I was like, Hmm, but every signal said it was going to go for, I don't care what all the other pundits and those guys said, everything said it was going South. And then it went down some more and I bought like 10 ounces just to see. And sure enough, as soon as I bought 10 ounces, it went down some more. So 10 more ounces. And then it went down some more. All right, so now I'll wait, wound a little, wait around a little bit more, around 15, 14, see if it, maybe they'll take it under 15, right? Because the name, again, the name of this game is not buy bottom, sell top. The name of this thing game is buy low, sell high. So all that stuff that I sold up in the, uh, you know, because I sell once in a while out of my savings to make ends meet or to get something or to go on a vacation or whatever, 
all that silver that I sold, I'm buying it back way cheaper than what I sold it for. Um, so it's an, an unintentional role uh, because I don't have the knowledge or foresight or, or the cojones to dump all my silver holdings at, say, 25 and then buy it back now um, because I wasn't sure that this would happen. And you can't be sure. You can't tell which way the markets are going to go and how the rigging is going to be. But I'm confident that they're going to keep it down. They have not lost control. They're going to keep it down here sideways and down, sideways and down. Maybe they bounce it back up to 20 and then down again, to, right? And they keep it in this trading range, five bucks. But a long time ago, I don't know. Oh, no, because I didn't make any videos back then. But I did make posts and, and uh, so forth in various forums talking about the, in the one-day moves in silver are going to one day, you know, just the regular fluctuations in the price are going to be more than the price of silver is today. And that was back when it was like five bucks, five and six bucks. Um, you know, in a month, they've taken it down how far. It's amazing. Uh, get some silver, physical. Don't buy pieces of paper that say that you can get turn this piece of paper in for a piece of silver at some future date. Get the actual physical delivered to your door. And then don't store it in a safety deposit box and don't keep it around your house either. Right? There's one guy, some word got out that he had $300,000 in silver at his house and guys came to his house and took his silver. Now what? Right? If you don't catch the criminals, and even if you do catch the criminals, doesn't mean you can find the silver. So, you know, keep that. There's places, actual trustworthy warehouses, actual trustworthy storage units that have more uh, security than you ever will. But then again, then even then, they, right? the idea is you've got a piece of uh, asset that has no counterparty risk. Right? So if you have a piece of silver and they don't know where it is, uh, they can't get to it. Simple. So people are burying it in the yard. I don't know about that. But anyway, don't keep it like, you know, in your sock drawer or, <laughs> or in the mattress because if they come to your house, they can find it. Um, and But the other thing is that, you know, if they can trace, and they can, uh, your your uh, dealings, then, you know, if you've got a storage, if you've got it in a storage unit someplace or if you've got it in a secure warehouse someplace, they know where it is and they might be able to come down there. I don't know, like to say you've got some kind of... Uh, court battle with your husband or wife or whatever and there's an asset battle and they want assets well then you know they can come down there with a warrant and it doesn't matter if it's a secure twice as secure as fort knox if they got the warrant and they say oh you owe this amount of money then you owe that amount of money all right look i gotta go so e pluribus unum crime stoppers sideways and down and yes they definitely definitely want to put these guys out of business so they can buy them up cheap. They did the same thing in the 30s. They did the same thing with farmland. They did the same thing. It's the same thing every damn time. Stay tuned. I'm about to make one about global warming and that scam and also about what the, the humongous thumping the Democrats just took on Tuesday. And I, the more I, it's just ridiculous what I'm reading from the Democrats. You guys just don't get it. It's just painful to read. Anyway, uh, e pluribus unum, get yourself some silver at sale prices. Uh, enjoy your holidays. We're coming up on it. This is, uh, as I make this video, we are, what, November uh, 10th, and I will talk to you soon.